hello how is everyone it's been a long while since um well not a long while but it's been a while since i was on here talking about my stats and what i've been doing i'm a little late i'm like let me see normally i post on thursdays um and the reason is because i was out of town so i hope you can forgive me. I'm getting ready to go, which is why you're in my closet with me. And I'm getting all my face kind of... I'm kind of trying to get myself together without putting too much on because I just want to get out of here. So, in case anyone's wondering what I'm putting on my face... <laughs> I don't know if you're wondering, but... I'm putting on tinted moisturizer. This. It's, uh... CoverGirl Tinted Moisturizer BB Cream. So, yeah. So, I was out of town. I was out of town and I went to Orlando. Yes, Orlando. And um, I was there for like four or five days. And it was during the time that I normally upload. So, there went that. Um, I did try to put up something, which I did. It was about food and what I eat in a day. And, uh, yeah. So, I did put something up. But it wasn't my stats and all that that I normally put up on a Thursday. So, yeah. Sorry about that. Um, and this week is going to kind of be the same because I am going out of town again. Ah! I don't know. So, yeah. Um... I'm going to see because I hit yesterday, I hit my um, one month mark, like the official one month. It's the seventh for me every month. So 30 days and yeah, I'm like, wow, 30 days. What the heck? How did 30 days already go by? So... I weighed myself this morning, which is many days after I normally weigh myself. And I probably didn't change anything um, by the time I should have weighed myself, but there was a change. Um, and I was happy about that change. Because, yeah, the scale moved. And it moved down. Down, 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 down. Why is it, poor thing, it, this poor camera is trying to like focus on me and I keep moving like, ugh, messy. <laughs> So yeah, um, the scale went down and I'm very, very thrilled about that. So I'm going to give my stats in just a few seconds from now. But I did want to come on here and say hello before I get my day started. Um, I have a couple things I need to go get before I go on my trip. And yeah, so just errands and things. Fill in my eyebrows so that they're more... Define not that I need more eyebrow because Lord knows I've been blessed with the brows. I have a lot of brows. Thank God that we are in a different age where people can, if they want to. Man, it's dark in here. Thank God for this camera because the camera actually brightens up this room. It's very dim it's a miracle that i can even do my makeup in here honestly but i like it it's my little it's my closet i'm inside my closet i get ready it's fine it works for me and i'm okay with that so yeah thank you for watching thank you for tuning in i am happy to be back home in my normal routine again kind of and yeah so I will give my stats. I was happy that the scale went down. I was like, oh my god, yay, it went down. My eyeballs almost popped out. I was like, <gasps> so yeah, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. All right. Let me fix this a tip. Okay, I'm listed here as bariatrics babe. And um, I started this process, I believe, last year in 2017. In a, I think it was either March or April. And so the surgery was December 
7th, 2017. And as of yesterday, it was 30 days since I had that surgery. I am a revision patient banned to sleeve. So there's a lot of things that come with that. You know, I found out that um, revisions are people who lose way slower than just a person who's just started out as a regular sleeve or a gastric bypass. And that's because our bodies are used to this um, process already of eating in a certain way. And so when you have a revision, revision surgery, it just um, makes it a little different because your body's already used to that kind of, you know, that small amount of food to a point. You're not shocking your body as much as people who have just done it are doing. So it's a little different and that's okay. It's fine. I've been away. I think I mentioned that like in the first part of the video where I said that I have been away. I was out in Orlando for the last, since last week, Wednesday. So five days, four nights. And that was a lot of fun. We had a good time. You know, it was my first time being far from home um, after surgery and whatever comes with that. So I had difficulties with things like remembering to take my vitamins, although I did pretty good, but there were a couple of times where I missed like maybe one or two of my vitamins. Um, and yeah, that was kind of a bummer, but you know, now I'm back to regular routine for a couple of days before I go away again. Another thing that was a little bit um, challenging was the food. You know, I tried to stick to like soupy things if I could. Unless I wanted something that had different texture and every time I went to a place and asked for soup for whatever reason chili was like the soup that they were having so I was like chili again ah! so I'm chilled out <laughs> especially because before I left I made turkey chili and so I ate that and then I went away and it was like chili 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 I'm like ugh I can't I went to a, I went to several restaurants while we were away and most of the time if there was something with bread I would either pull the bread apart um, on the top or on the bottom or all the way and just eat what was inside. So I did that. I had a lot of difficulty with bathroom situations. You know, it's a little TMI, but for whatever reason, my food is just going right through me and it's irritating because I have to feel like, okay, is this going to settle or am I going to have to run over to the bathroom? And if we have like, if we're like in a place that I can't just run out, that's going to be annoying. I just ugh, not chewing enough. Or taking enough time to eat so I don't know um what else do I want to talk about I did say in my last video that I was going to rent an ECV a motorized scooter for the parks and I did that we went to Kennedy Space Center we went to Gatorland we went to the Disney parks um, for Gatorland and Kennedy Space Center I did not use the motorized scooter and that was because I was just annoyed by it I didn't want to be having to have that big old thing going around everywhere it it's embarrassing and then people I'm telling you remember I said like oh people are gonna be looking at you and they're gonna be like saying oh my god what is she doing in there Ugh. well guess what people did they were every time I was like driving by people would just like stare at you like they've never seen one of these things before especially at Disney parks like half of the Disney population has these things okay like there's so many people in ECVs for whatever reason they need to have them and mine was the surgery and me being tired like frequently not being able to walk as fast as I normally do now I think I'm much better and when I was at Kennedy Space Center and didn't use it I did just fine I had a good time and you know it was walking and looking at things not just continuous walking like you're doing at a Disney park so when we went to the Disney parks I did take the ECV and it was helpful you know for me it was very cold for me out there 30 degrees so sitting in a chair and zooming around was just not ideal <laughs> but it was nice I, we still had a good time so that was good and people are judgy so look if you see a person in ecv don't judge them just leave them alone you don't know what they have at some point i was like do you want me to lift up my shirt and be like hey look i have this see this is why i'm in this chair this is why anyway but yeah how do I feel? Right now I feel like I'm 100% healed up inside 30 days out. I don't feel like I'm in pain on the inside of my stomach at all. The outside I still have some of the, the stitches that are not dissolved and I feel like that's catching onto my clothes and really irritating me. Somebody told me that what I can do is just pull them right out because it's pretty much ready to come out. So. I'm going to do my best and see if whatever's just there, because it's not a lot, it's just a couple. See if I'll just do that while I'm in the shower and just tick, 
pull it out. I don't know, just the, just the thought of it, I'm like, God, oh, no, it's so scary. I did take my protein powders with me and I did use them. I even took them to the park. So I took like my whey protein from Target, the Market Pantry one that I use, and I put that in a little Ziploc and I would put that inside of a, one of those shaker cups. And I took that with me and did that once. And then every day before we left the hotel, I made myself my coffee and I would put a scoop in of that Gen Pro or Gene Pro, however you pronounce it. And I will link the Market Pantry. I will also continue to link the, the other powder. It's flavorless. And I put it in my coffee and 30 grams of protein. So yeah, and that's what I did daily, 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 just to make sure that I at least had that. Aside from that, I tried to just eat the meat out of sandwiches and things like that and i was kind of naughty and i had pizza mostly the toppings like the scrape the top i think i ate one pizza and then what else did i do i had a couple sp scoops spoons of a hot fudge sundae that my husband ordered at beaches and cream at the beach club hotel at disney so that was kind of naughty so sorry yeah I definitely am back today to my normal routine and eating. So this morning I had the cereal we're allowed to have. Um, I haven't had my coffee with my protein, so I'm going to do that. I had a turkey sub from Subway, mainly you just ate the, in, the inside of the turkey with the toppings. And um, and that's it. So And I ordered the kids portion. I didn't order a, a, a big sub or anything like that. It was the kids portion because... That's all pretty much we can eat, if that. So I did eat it and it was really good. I really enjoyed that. Let's go over the stats. Cause that's what everyone wants to know anyway. Okay, I didn't have my scale with me and I was like, oh my God, not weighing every day, I don't know. But, and I thought with all this eating I'm doing out, there's just no way, but the scale went down. It did, so let's go over it. Okay. I forgot to talk about where I had my surgery. <sighs> Sorry, reverse the stats. <laughs> okay, so I had my surgery on December 7th at Florida Medical Center in Fort Lauderdale and my doctor's name is Dr. Paul Wisman. And, and the whole group, they're so informative. There's even a Facebook group that we kind of all chit chat together and go through things and just kind of ask questions and things like that. So that was cool. Another thing I found out this week that I can use, which I'm glad I can, is Emergen C. That's like that vitamin C condensed, a lot of vitamin C in one packet. People swear by it. I've never used it before, but I'm doing it. My daughter's sick with a cold and I'm about to go away this week on another trip and I just can't be sick. Highest weight, 217.5 pounds. Surgery weight, 212 pounds. Last weight was 203 pounds. And my weight as of today, which was 30 days plus one day, is 200.5 pounds. So yeah, I'm hoping by next week. I'm hoping, but who knows? Maybe I just might stick to this for like another week or two. Who knows? I'm just not even. So 200.5 pounds is what I am now. And that's a total of 17 pounds. Yay! And that's including like all, everything. I don't like to go by it like from the day I had. I like to go from the beginning. So 17 pounds is what I have lost in a month. And I am so thrilled about that thrilled beyond so anyway i'm always glad to come up here and talk to you guys i'm sorry that this video is late um next week's video is going to be a little bit late too stay tuned for that thank you for watching thank you for being part of this group i really appreciate the comments i get comments from you guys here and i love it i love interacting with you so please give this a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe if you haven't done that say hello I love talking to you guys, so thanks for watching. I hope to upload something else for you for next Monday, something maybe in between that I can think of doing for you guys, um, and that's it, so thank you. Bye.